I know I made a mistake, and I have a lot to learn, but you don't have to get rid of me. I left Camino with you. This is where I wanna be. Omega. To Hunter deciding to visit an old ally, the group headed for Salukami. The Marauder landed a short distance away from Lorquain's farm and the Bad Batch began to walk towards their homestead. When Omega walked out into the sun, she was in awe, having never experienced any environment besides the perpetual overcast of Camino. She was fascinated with her new surroundings, scooping some up dirt, which she had never seen before, in her hand and laughing. As the group marched on, Omega continued to marvel at her surroundings, observing plants and butterflies. When they reached the homestead, Hunter introduced Omega to Cut Lorquain, a clone who had deserted during the war, his wife Sue, and his adopted children Shea and Jack, who took her outside to play while the others talked inside. Shea and Jack showed Omega how to play catch, but when Omega accidentally threw the ball beyond the fence, the two children told her not to worry about it and went inside to pack, as the family was looking to leave Salukami due to the imperial presence. However, Omega decided to retrieve the ball anyway, at which point she drew the attention of the predatory Nexa. Hunter and Sue came out to rescue her, chasing off the creature. When Hunter began to berate her for being irresponsible, Cut stepped in. As Omega tearfully apologized, Cut hugged her and brought her back inside. Eventually, Omega sat in the cockpit of the Marauder in sadness as Echo and Tech worked on forging chain codes for the Lorquain so they could leave Salukami in safety. When Tech communicated to Hunter about his plan to intentionally get their ship impounded so they could get inside the complex, Hunter was angry, but Omega approved of the plan. Although Tech did not plan for Omega to be on board when they were impounded, they stayed together in the ship while Echo snuck in and stole chain codes for Tech to forge. When clone forces amassed near the ship, preventing Echo or Tech from passing the codes to Hunter, Wrecker, and the family, who had entered the spaceport and planned to pick them up before boarding the last shuttle, Omega grabbed the codes and snuck out herself to deliver them, succeeding in bringing them to the group. However, when Omega noted that Tech had made an extra one, Hunter pulled her aside and told her that she would be going along with the family, as they could give her a life that he and his squad could not. Omega said that she wanted to stay with them, but Hunter told her it was for her own good before going to rendezvous with the rest of the Bad Batch, who had been discovered and were battling clone troopers. In sorrow, Omega went along through the gate with Cut and his family, but eventually decided to disobey Hunter and return to the ship. She made it back on board as the squad escaped, and later approached Hunter to apologize but also to reaffirm her desire to be among them, to which Hunter replied that if it was what she wanted, then they would be glad to have her even if he still had much to learn about taking care of her.